Okay, so I decided to stop by the Salvation Army in Brandon, Florida. And we're going to compare the prices to the one in Ohio. I'm not sure exactly about prices because I normally just pick up 99 cent stuff from my Salvation Army. But we're going to see if they have a 99 cent tag, colored tags, or how they run their sales here. But I personally love Salvation Army, so let's go check it out. So we have an all yellow tag sale, 50% off. Okay, so they have a back to school sale, which is awesome. I can hardly get in here. There we go. Got a little bit of a J. Crew sale. Seven ninety nine. It's actually disappointing. I expected this place to be a lot cheaper. So we've got eye candy. $3.99. Old Navy. $3.99. Man Taylor Loft, $3.99. So there's Steve's shirts. Oh, oh, wrong. This one is $5.99. I was going to say their sleeveless shirts run $3.99, but I'm wrong. So it is a little more than I, more expensive than I expected. Next level, $3.99. Okay, so we've got $5.99 and $3.99 on an average. Flare, $5.99. So let's look at the regular t-shirts. So $3.99 is not a bad price. Sheen, $3.99. Yeah, so. Oh. This one is $7.99. I don't know why it's $7.99. Bay Studio. $7.99. NBA Golden State Warriors three ninety nine Fashion Nova three ninety nine Okay, so
let's look at we've got shorts and we're here Emma Tommy and Fitch $5.99 for some cutoff shorts $7.99 for some D jeans $7.99 I think that's expensive Tommy Hilfiger $7.99 fifty percent off of yellow time and true these are new these are also Walmart $7.99 I guess they're $19.98 at Walmart so they don't have a 99 cent color they do have a half off old navy 9.99 this is kind of disappointing for me because my children are now grown but i mean i'm still a single parent but they are grown as a single parent it's a struggle. It's a struggle to raise kids on your own financially. Emotionally, it was fine. My children were great, but financially, it was very, very stressful. And Goodwill and Salvation Army, you know, they, at the time, which my youngest is 26, but my oldest is 29. You know, as a single parent, it was expensive. It was too expensive for me to go and buy them name brand clothes. So I would hit up Goodwills and I'd hit up Salvation Armies and that's what helped me survive single parenting. Because I was able to get them really nice stuff at decent prices. And this was in Ohio. And... I was blessed that my Ohio prices are as cheap as they are because I was able to dress my sons very nice, you know, and I couldn't afford to dress them the way I did, but I was lucky enough that I was able to dress them in really nice clothes because of the Salvation Armies, because of the Goodwill. So I love these stores, but I'm very disappointed that they are so expensive now. And I mean, luckily, I'm blessed that in Ohio, they're not that bad. But, you know, these stores need to remember that in this economy, even with a two-income household, you know, it's very expensive. You know, everything is so expensive. And they shouldn't make it hard to come get used clothing that it's donated. It's donated. Like, why are you pricing it so high? when it's donated and you have trailers and trailers of this stuff and you want to price everything so expensive and tailor really cute skirt but they're asking $7.99 and I'm very disappointed because I know that you know there are other single moms out there like me and these stores are supposed to make it, you know, they're supposed to help you. American Eagle, $7.99. And Salvation Army does help people. I will give them credit for that. They do, you know, help homeless people. They help all that. So, you know, I appreciate that. But you also have average American, you know, you, you make too much money to be considered low income so you don't get certain benefits other people get but technically you only make enough money for the bare necessities so I feel like places like this should be you know let's do that single mom that has an office job that needs to dress nice she should be able to come here and buy herself a nice suit at a reasonable price raising her children trying to put them through school and she's doing it on her own 
just price this. I mean, three ninety nine is not bad. The shorts aren't bad. I'll give them that. Shorts I feel are expensive. Oh, I didn't see the jeans. I will look at jeans next. So yes, um, have three sons, a single parent, and that's what got me addicted to thrifting. Was I originally moved up to Ohio just maybe a year or two after I'd gotten divorced and I lived in Florida. I mean, I had all summer clothes. I didn't have any winter clothes whatsoever. And when I went to Ohio, I needed to basically start fresh with my wardrobe and my children's wardrobes. So we happened to hit up a Salvation Army that was there in town and get so much nice clothes. And from there, I was addicted. $7.99. I think this is more the, I think what they consider. I don't know why these are outfit. I don't know if they consider these more the name brand stuff. But let's look at their shoes. Let's see what they got their shoes priced at. Let me see if I can find a pair that I can pull up on eBay. Oh, here we go. A pair of Steve Madden's. $8.99. And they're cute, but that is kind of expensive. A pair of White Mountain. These are also, oh no, these are $5.99. These are $8.99. Not sure what brand these are. No, oh, also a pair of Steve Madden's. Calvin Klein. $8.99. Yeah, so they seem to run pretty much $8.99 as the average price. And I mean they have nice shoes. It's this is place is very clean. And it is actually well, it's about the same size as mine. So let's see. Here are the jeans. Let's price these. Ann Taylor Long, seven ninety nine. Pair of American Eagles, seven ninety nine. Fashion Nova. These are actually new. $9.99. Size 5. Lucky Brands. $7.99. Okay, so $3.50 is not bad if you catch the half off tag. Okay, so let's look at the dresses. stuff here. Let's see if I can find the bras. Wow. $7.99. Why is that in the one seventy nine? Three ninety nine. Kind of blurry. 
It's a little dark in here. It's pretty raggedy. They're asking $7.99. Under Armour, $7.99. Smart and Sexy, 36 double D, $7.99. All right, so the bras seem to be $7.99, which is very expensive. Okay, so now that's not bad. We've got a, let's say, homecoming dress, $7.99. $7.99, now that's worth it. Oh, so here we have your Athletic. It doesn't have a brand. Cabela's, six ninety nine. Reebok, six ninety nine. Cabela's, five ninety nine. Nike dry fit. Don't see a price tag on that one. Okay, so looks like six ninety nine. Let's look at their purses. Oh, well, they have a Michael Kors. It's not a Michael Kors. They have a Michael Kors that color. That's why I thought it was it. But here's an Ann Klein. Let's look at this one. We've got an Ann Klein leather purse. And they are asking $19.99. A relic leather purse backpack style purse $19.99 as well guest bag $19.99 Tory Burch $19.99 but that one's in bad shape actually very bad shape you can see that So expensive. I hope they at least have backpacks cheap. It's a little girl's cow print. $14.99. That breaks my heart. don't see a price on that one. Alright, let's check out their knickknacks. Oh, that is super cute. $7.99. Cake pop maker. Mickey Mouse. $12.99. Easy bake oven. George Foreman, $7.99. I don't see a price on this easy bake oven. I 
I'm sure I'm overlooking it somewhere, but I don't see a price. Most other dishes are priced as marked. My Little Pony. That's cute. $2.99. Got arts and crafts here. Looks like everything's marked. And a set of colored pencils. $2.99. And my fingernails are sticky. Um... Picture frames, $2.99. Books are yellow. I don't know if you can see that, but paperback books $1.99, hardcover $2.99, records $1.99, and we've got games here, Monopoly Junior $4.99. Finding Dory game operation $2.99. That's actually cute. Price on the Scrabble. A Monopoly Gamer Collector's Edition, six ninety nine. Checkers boxes pretty jacked up. Two ninety nine. The ceramic giraffe. Two ninety nine. See if there are any Starbucks mugs. Disney Vacation Club coffee mug $2.99 Chase Pink a little water bottle $2.99 Yorkies. Who will get rid of their little Yorkie mug? Holy cow, $4.99. And the thing is, I don't really see a whole lot of yellow tags. So I get yellow tags half off, so you can look at it and like only grab the yellow tags, which that's what I would do as a reseller. Actually, for these prices, I would even do it I'm personally buying it for myself. But I don't see a whole lot of yellow tags. So 
So let's look at their knickknacks. We've got just some candles. Some candle, oh, $2.99 for the set of two. So we've got some candle holders, $2.99 for a set of two. Now that's, this is actually not a bad price. $19.99. It is half off. Did you find anything? $6.99. We've got some stuff here in a glass shelf. manager walking around in circles. I think he's following me. No. Pretty sure he is following me. $2.99. Some basic little baskets. Okay, so we are going to end this video now because Every time I turn around, he's behind me, and it's kind of weird. That's the end of my Salvation Army video, and um, I just wanted to come compare prices here to mine. Like I said, I really don't know the prices of mine because I normally just do the 99 cent stuff because I'm trying to get the most for my buck, but this is it. It is pretty big. Um, I personally think it is pretty expensive. I'm kind of disappointed in the prices but at least they do donate to charity they do help out a lot of homeless people and stuff like that so that's definitely a positive so thank you very much if you enjoy these kind of videos or if you enjoy haul videos because i do those as well i'm going to do a couple what sold videos when i get back and situated to ohio like and subscribe and thank you guys have a wonderful day I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day here in sunny Florida. Bye-bye.